Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing? And so I'm back with a new video, and this is the balm video. The balm, B A L M. So um, I've used a whole bunch of products that all have balm in the word, and they all have that sort of feeling of kind of Vaseline sort of feeling to them. And so um, we might as well go ahead and get started. And uh, let's see, as far as what I did for foundation today, I did go ahead and get out my Z palette, which is like this, isn't it cute? Love that one. And um, yeah, can't go wrong with a flamingo, you know, they're really cool. But anyway, I went ahead and used the Salt New York. This is their Sneaky Balm, and I have mine in shade 13, which is one of their late or lightest shades. It was their lightest shade at one point. Um, but I did go ahead and use a sponge with it and I thought it went on really well. Um, it actually, you can build it up better with a sponge than with your fingers. And um, so yeah, really like the application. I've had this sneaky balm for a little while and really like um, just the way that it the finish that it has on it so I was I was wanting to go ahead and um, use it with some of my other products and some of the Miracle Balm and I did get this in PR from Jones Road and um, their balms work um, really well and um, I've really been liking them. I've actually been using the natural one to go ahead and uh, use right under my eyes. It gives me a little bit of moisture and there's enough wax in it that I think it kind of, um, well, maybe I'm exaggerating here, but I think it kind of feels fills in my dry lines a little bit. I mean, maybe it's all in my head. I It's not a scientific experiment, um, but that's just my feeling from using it, and I've really been liking it. And I've been using it around the mouth, under the eyes, and then on the forehead. And I just think it, it softens the lines, it adds in a little moisture, and in the under eye, I think it just it really hits home for me and it really works. So I am really, really glad I got this and will probably be buying the big one because I'm liking it a lot. The other thing that I went ahead and used, um, again, it's an all bomb video, the Miami Heat from uh, Jones Road. And so I went ahead and used that as, a, as my blush today. And I did really like that as well. And then um, as far as the highlighter today, uh, again, the Jones Road, this one is the, um, let's see, oh, Magic Hour? Yeah, I think it's Magic Hour. And this one has a whole bunch of glitter in it so that you can go ahead and uh, use it as a highlighter. It's more of a natural highlighter. It's not going to give you that glow to the stars and back, but again, really liking it. And then being me and um, always having all of the uh, cheek color just disappear from my face, um, I like to go ahead and lock it in with a powder. So I use the ColourPop Let's Dance and I put that over the top of it. And so, yeah, I have a whole bunch of different products on my cheek and I think they're all working together pretty well. So I'm liking that just realized that um, my lipstick had actually uh, sort of gone ahead and um, kind of pewtered out there. So I'm going to use the hard candy and this one is in my type. And go ahead and use that. So it's supposed to be a dupe for the um, the Tarte Maracuja lips. It is a plumping formula. It does have a little bit of a cool kind of minty feel to it. So, and some color. I mean, it just definitely, yeah, it's a light, a light balm or a light, yeah, I would call it a balm. 
some more balms for the balm video. And then as far as what I ended up doing for the eyes, I have the usual suspects, like the Thick and Wild by Essence and Caramel Blonde. And I threw all the mascaras at my lashes today, the Tarte Tartlet, the Sky High by Maybelline, and the Essence Volume Stylist. So, yeah, got all of those going there today. Did go ahead and use the Bard by Fantasy Cosmetica on the eyes. I think it turned out really well. And I've been playing with this palette. It's one of those palettes where I love the color story. Here, let me show you. I, I mean, I knew I loved the color story right away, but it really did take working with the palette um, and doing a whole bunch of looks before I started feeling comfortable at all with it. And today what I did was went ahead and used this one on the inner corner. And then I used this one on the inner half of the lid, this one on the outer half of the lid, and then I went ahead and used these two um, under the eye as well as far as an eyeliner. And I think the look came out uh, really cool toned, and I really didn't think it would go that cool toned with this palette, but it did. Here it is. So, yeah. I'm liking the look that I got with this, and um, as far as a finishing powder, I went ahead and used a Glowish, and this one is by Huda Beauty. And um, this one's in Farron, so that's a finishing powder that I went ahead and used today. Uh, the Hard Candy Setting uh, Spray as well. And um, as far as using the balms, I've been really nicely surprised by the balms. I was really concerned at first that with the texture that they have and the fact that they like to just slip and slide around, that not only would my hair be getting stuck in them, but they would be moving across the face. And I haven't found that. And so um, I'm also really careful to use a little amount, a tiny amount, warm it up in my fingers, and then spread it on and build it up that way. And um, definitely for a day where I probably didn't do the right eye look with this, but for the everyday kind of feeling, I think these balms work really well. They give you enough coverage so that you feel like you're, uh, it, you don't feel like, you know, all of your, um, I have, you don't feel like all your spots are showing. So, you know, if, um, you get enough coverage to cover, but you don't get so much coverage that you feel like you're wearing a lot on your face. And um, they do give you a little bit of moisture. They give you a lot of glow. And um, I just, I've been really enjoying them. They haven't been sticking to my face. They've been giving me a little bit of sheen on my cheeks. And they haven't been moving around on me. So, um yeah, I'd say if anything, just make sure that you set them with a powder so that they don't go here, there, everywhere. But if you use, if you don't pile it on and use a little bit um, in your problem areas or uh, you just build up the cheek, you start with a little bit and then you build up the cheek to where you want it and you powder it, uh, I think they work pretty well. And I'm really enjoying them. I know they're coming out for the older group and I think that's because the moisture and the glow in them but I have really uh, been surprised and um, and uh, yeah I like them so um, anyway I think they're a good new addition to a product that we have before and now they've been updated and the new ones that are coming out are pretty spectacular so I would suggest you try them and uh, play around with them on days that you're not doing, um, that you don't have to look all put together so that you can see how they work best for your skin type. But yeah, they're fun. And I think that's the video. And I'm glad that uh, you joined me today. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.